Hi, I'm Tom Lathan. Welcome to another edition of Community Highlights Online, a look at the programs, services, and people of Sunnyside Community Hospital and Clinics. The guest this edition is Tom Anderson, cardiopulmonary services technician at the hospital. The topic, pulmonary function testing. People will go to the doctor's office with a cough that lingers too long, shortness of breath when they do the simplest of things. Um, the easy ones are the ones that show up and I've been smoking for 35 years. Is your shortness of breath really your lungs or is it something else? And the best way to find out is to have good diagnostic tools to do that with. Anderson says the equipment he uses in Sunnyside is the same as that in larger hospitals in Spokane and Seattle. Testing is done on adults and children as young as eight or nine. In the kids, the concern is often related to a possible diagnosis of asthma, though Anderson says it may take several tests and a year or two of follow-up to accurately diagnose asthma. Here in the Valley, environmental and occupational issues contribute to breathing problems. But in this area, we tend to have uh, a little bit of dust <laughs> in the valley. Um, I, I tend to see um, people who work around the concrete industry. Fine concrete dust just really gets your lungs. Uh, farmers, there's a lot of uh, workers um, out in the fields and they're around a lot of sprays that come down. And a lot, of, a lot of the farmers are very good at trying to offer masks for people to wear when they're out there. But when you're in a hurry and the mask is a little claustrophobic feeling or you just don't think you can work as fast, everybody takes the mask off so they can do their job faster. And that just exposes them to all that kind of stuff out there. Would you believe chicken stuff? Um, chicken farmers were one a number of years ago that um, they were coming down with lung problems and we couldn't figure out why a chicken farmer would come down with such bad lungs. They're out in the fresh air, they're just little chickens running around. We found out that it was the chicken feces that they would shovel and as it dries it basically turned into asbestos type fibers. And what happens the harder you work? You start breathing through your mouth, your mouth opens up and you're just breathing those fibers right down into your lungs and that's where they came up with dung lung disease. Well right now we're going to give you a peek at what a PFT test looks like and this time the patient is me. The idea as Tom will explain is to blow hard and long and blow out the birthday candles on his computer. Watch. Um, the booth itself is, was designed specifically um, to give people as much room as they could and also with all the plexiglass, even the sunroof that's in this thing was designed for people that have claustrophobia. So they tried to think ahead of, of everybody that's there. When I holler at you, I want you to take in as deep a breath, just as fast and as big as you can. Soon as you're full, don't hold your breath. As soon as you're full, you blow out as hard and as fast, here's the hard part, and as long as you can possibly blow. Now, <clears throat> Try breathing just nice and easy, in and out. Now try and breathe just normal, like you're watching real boring TV. There you go, that's a little better. Now you're getting used to it. One more normal round. Now big breath in. Blow hard, really hard, really hard, really hard. Go, 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 go. Big breath in. And as you can see, you got close. You got all of them, but one little tiny yellow guy here. Never substitute online programming for a consultation with your primary care provider. But if you'd like to know a little bit more about our programs and services, we do invite you to listen to other topics on this site. Then consult your doctor and ask she or he about the services available at Sunnyside Community Hospital. Thanks for watching this edition of Community Highlights Online.